Here we're told to find the equation of the line through the point 4, 4 and the point 8, 7. Well, what we'll do first is find the slope. The slope is going to be rise over the run. That's going to be the difference in the y coordinates. So I'm going to say 7 and 4. Find the difference there. That'll be 7 minus 4 over the difference in the x coordinates. So that will be 8 minus 4. That's the slope. And 7 minus 4 is 3, and 8 minus 4 is 4. Once we know the slope, we can use the slope and a point, and we can use either point and use the point-slope form of the equation for the line. I'll use this point, although either one would work. And I'll write y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And I'll put in the numbers that I know. y minus y1, y1 is the y-coordinate, that's the 4. That equals m, that's my slope, 3 fourths, times x minus x1 and x1 is my x-coordinate. That's a 4. And I'll go ahead and put this into slope-intercept form, the more convenient form. So I have y minus 4 on the left, and I'll distribute the 3 fourths. That gives me 3, four, 3 fourths x minus 3 fourths times 4, which is just 3. And then if I add 4 to each side, I'm left with this y equals 3 fourths x plus 1. And that's the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. And a quick sketch can show you that this works. If I imagine these points 4, 4, that's one of the points that I was given. And 8, 7 would be about there you can see that this makes sense. A line like that is going to go through the y-axis at 1, a y-intercept of 1, and it will have a slope of 3 fourths. We weren't told to graph it, but a lot of times a quick sketch like that helps, gives you a, helps give you a visual picture of the situation and helps clarify your thinking. We were just asked to find the equation for the line, and this is it.